screen for parishioners in St. Antoninus Parish the School. Proclamation, City of Cincinnati, he had proclaimed, whereas in 1943, a decision was made to purchase a parcel of land at the intersection of Jumar Drive and Linderman Road, the purpose of which was to establish a Roman Catholic Church on the west side of Cincinnati, Ohio, and whereas in 1944, Reverend Carl Geckler was appointed as the first pastor of this establishment, which was henceforth to be known as St. Antoninus Roman Catholic Church, and whereas the first red brick church was dedicated to Father Gatner, installed by Most Reverend Archbishop John T. McNicholas in June of 1944, and whereas in 1963, at the request of Father Gatner, a second underground church adjacent to the rectory was raised to replace the smaller church built in 1944. Beforehand, whereas after the passing of Father Gettler in 1967, the congregation grew under the leadership of Father Joseph Romain in 1967-1971, Father Robert Hagedorn in 1971-1984, and whereas in 1984, Reverend Donald McCarthy became the fourth pastor of St. Antoninus, in 1991 led the groundbreaking of the new church built above the original basement structure and whereas in 1992 the most reverend archbishop daniel Pilarchi and father mccarthy celebrated the dedication mass with the new church filled with capacity and whereas over the next two decades after the retirement of father mccarthy in 2004 Congregation was led by Father Christopher Armstrong, 2004 to 2015, and Father Brian Reed, 2015 to 2017, ably assisted by Father Lauren Smith, who served as resident retired priest, 1978 to 2017, and whereas today, St. Antoninus is celebrating its 75th anniversary under the leadership of Father Ronald Pat. 2017 to present, and whereas, in order to honor the past, embrace the present, and look forward to the future, the parish will be commemorating the momentous occasion with a Jubilee Mass, celebrated by Most Reverend Bishop Joseph Binzer, Reverend Ronald Hatt, and Deacon Robert Schrader. Now, therefore, I, John Cranley, Mayor of the City of Cincinnati, do hereby proclaim June 2nd, 2019 as the 75th Jubilee anniversary of St. Antoninus Roman Catholic Church in Cincinnati. Praise the Lord. So, on behalf of Parish faculty and staff at St. Antoninus School. We want to wish all of you a very happy, joyous 75th anniversary of St. Antoninus Parish and School. By the way, Archbishop Schneer sends his prayers and his regards. He's in Amelia, as we're here in Western Hills celebrating an anniversary of St. Bernadette Parish. He wishes he could buy locate. Okay, haven't figured that out yet. Anyway, happy anniversary. And if I can just tell you one story. A number of years ago, someone asked me, they said, hey, you've got roots in Western Hills. Where is Western Hills? <laughs> and I said, well, if you know where St. Antoninus Parish is, it's around there. Where's St. Antoninus Parish? And I said, well, if you've got somebody from that parish, you never forget. So thanks for being part of that unforgettable, unforgettable group of people we call St. Antoninus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you for on this very day, His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. May he grant that as Christ after his resurrection was seen plainly by his disciples. So when he comes as judge, may he show himself merciful to you for all eternity. 
Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father's majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing Amen. song is in our hymn book, number 545. A hymn of glory that I sing, number 545.
Beautiful service. Beautiful service. You all ready? Oh, yep. Right in front of Bishop. Nobody starts without the Bishop. That's right. That's right. Beautiful. You all did a beautiful job. I was proud of you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God bless you. Beautiful. Now hers is pictures, but mine is video. So if I a good way to get a smile is praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Amen. Amen. What's good to be with everybody? This is one of our you're welcome. Lord, but as we celebrate the seventy fifth anniversary of St. Antoninus, may may we smile, may we rejoice, may we give thanks. And we recognize that we have opportunities, too, to do as those who came before us to keep the faith and pass it on. Lord, we ask you to bless the food we're about to share. Bless those who prepared it. Bless those who go without. We're concerned about them, too. And may caring people come to their aid. As we pray together, bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive. From thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful be parted. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. The Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bon appetit, as they say in Russian Hills. <laughs> and here's Father Patanka's favorite song from Woody Herman. <laughs>
focaccia. Praise the Lord, finish the ammunition, it's all the principles in it. Good meal. <laughs> Thank you, you did a beautiful job. Proud of you. Oh, okay. When you think of the origins of St. Antoninus Church, we recall that the first Mass was celebrated roughly one week after the D-Day invasion of Europe by the Allied forces. And so it was a great time of hope in our country. And as this young parish was beginning at that time, there was a great sense of hope and faith in the parish as well. So the song that was um, very popular at this time was from the great Dinah Shore. Here she sings along with the Paul Weston Orchestra, You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To. So the folks on the western side of Cincinnati had a new home to come to in the Lord, St. Antoninus Church. And we prayed for our brothers and sisters who were fighting in Europe and Asia to come home as well. Tell me who we have here. This is Sister Ann Ryan. Sister Ann Ryan. I'm an Asian Sister Dominican. Mind it, God and, uh, bless you all. I forgot to recognize the Knights of Columbus, Columbus with their regalia. But what we love most about the Knights of Columbus is their faith and love for Jesus Christ and the Holy Eucharist. So let's give a big round of applause and thanksgiving to the Knights of Columbus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. They could. You could do it to this song. Choo choo cha boogie. Oops, 75th, praise the Lord. I think you got one underneath there. There you go. And here's our cake meisters here. Yep, we're trying. And somebody did get pictures, I understand. Yes, yep. You all know who it was? Uh, Rhonda Smith, the photographer we got running oh, around. Oh, good. She's got the long red hair. Well, good, 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 good. Yeah, she's a
Can I slip here? You just age better than I do. Can I slip through the line? Thank you. Mr. Lonnie Lonnie for Lonneman. Praise the Lord. Come on, go in here and see if I can see these pictures in here. Oh, there's a glass cover I got for Sylvia. Bless her heart. Miss June and I worked to find that glass cover. And it worked out well, looks like there. It's nice, isn't it, ladies?
Beautiful ladies. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Miss Judy. <laughs> Miss Kathy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Here comes Sylvia in here now. Oh, Sylvia. Beautiful, Sylvia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I saw that. Isn't that pretty? Turned out nice, didn't it? You see the pattern? Yep. I love it. Now come in and take a still picture, John. The pattern is the tray. It's the tray. Yep. How neat. And, and it usually flips the other way. Huh. Kathy, look at, look at the Oops. feeling of this. And, the, and you gotta like, 